the subtitle of my paper is The Trouble with You Economists. You know? Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, sometime last February, uh, February in 2008, when the rice prices were really up high, I was in Bob Ziegler's office, and Bob said, he he's, the, he's the current DG of your. He's the current DG. And uh, Bob Ziegler said, he started off the conversation. He said, the trouble with you economists, and I thought to myself, how many times have I heard that? <laughs> I, nobody ever says the trouble with you plant pathologists or the trouble with you plant breeders. It's always the trouble with you economists. So he said, the trouble with you economists is you're always thinking about the past. You're never thinking about the future. And I said, Bob, you should be lucky because the, when we think about the future, we, we project the future, we're always wrong, you know. <laughs> and so about that time, there's a guy called Nippon who came from TDRI to give a conference. Now the rice prices are way up here. And, and Nippon said, one of his yeah. presentations, he said, you know, everybody thinks the rice price is going to stay high. The World Bank thinks so, and they're always wrong, and so-and-so thinks so-and-so, like that, like that. And he said, predicting the rice price is like fortune-telling. Uh, and uh, he said, this might happen, that might happen, something like that, he said. And finally, he said, at the bottom, only God knows. <laughs> so I think we should quit. Well, and no, I don't want to quit yet because I want to. I want to add something. Pursue the uh, idea, of, uh, Ziegler's problem. You know, the the trouble with you economists. Yeah. Okay, so you're always looking at the best. Well, you know, in fact, when prices were high in September, October, November, December yeah. of 2008, yeah. uh, what did the economists say? Well, Randy Barker gave a seminar at Erie. Well, probably it was March or something. Anyway, April. April. So prices were sky high in April. And what Randy Barker said in April was, these high prices are not going to last. They're going to come down, just like Nippon said. Yeah. Uh, I gave a seminar, and I said, these high prices of rice are not going to last. They're going to come down. But Bob Ziegler didn't want to hear that. I know. Of course not. He wanted prices to stay high. Because if prices are high, it justifies more money for Erie. Oh, he's got more money anyway. So, so uh, you know, if you focus on the past, you're wrong. If you focus on the future, you're wrong. Yeah, I know. So, uh, yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah, the, you know, I, I had a chart where I projected the Erie budget, you know. Yeah. And that's the only projection I had. The yeah. budget was, had been going down, down like this. Right. So I projected it going like that. That's that, what happened. And that was nice, too. That was happening. Bob Ziegler was happy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he was happy. Yeah. Well, I think, the, you know, the challenge is that the time lag between increasing the budget for a research institute yeah. uh, and any impact on productivity in farmers' fields is about a 15-year lag. And this is the problem with Gates or any of these donors. Right. They want Impact. They want they want a three year impact, they want not impact. a fifteen year impact. And, and one of the problems I have, and we didn't mention that, is about you have impact assessors now at every one of these centers, right? And and they're trying to assess the impact almost year to year about what has Erie accomplished this year, right. and so forth, like that. And and you know Rome, as you said, Rome wasn't built in the day. I mean. You know, people like the Gates Foundation, they need to understand what agricultural research and stuff is about, you know, right. because it is a 15-year horizon of this stuff, and that's one of, the, one of the major problems, I think. Well, I think that you're right. The emphasis on impact is misplaced. We need an emphasis on monitoring and evaluation. That is, monitoring what's going on exactly. so we can understand the process, and do we believe this process will lead to technological change and will lead to impact that is beneficial to farmers. That's the question. Yeah. So are we making progress toward the goal? And in order to understand even now what the impact is, you, you have to have data and survey work right. to find out, again going back 
which farmers are adopting, right. which aren't adopting, why. What's happening and, on and, the and, ground? And there's a big project now uh, that Gates is going to fund in Africa to do just that. I yeah. mean, we don't know much about the new rices in Africa, who's adopting who isn't. We need, to, we need to understand in that work that what we observe on the ground today is a result of research that was done 10, 15 years ago. So the new rices in Africa are the result of work that Monty Jones did at WARDA 15 years ago. Yeah. Has nothing to do with what Gates is funding today. Yeah. And that's the process we have to understand. That's the process that President Obama has to understand when he says, we're going to start funding uh, more work on agriculture in Africa. Yeah. That, that impact will happen in the future yeah. and in the distant future, not in the, in the, in the near future.